Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a diaper cake baby gift. When I had my first daughter nine years ago, one of my favorite baby shower gifts was a diaper cake. Not only was it practical because as you know, moms need tons of diapers, but the way that my aunt put it together was just so cute. Today I'm so excited to be partnering with Pampers to do this DIY with you today. We used Pampers when my girls were little and just the smell of them takes me back to when they were babies and it almost, well it does bring tears to my eyes. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to an infographic that Pampers did up talking about the items that new moms regretted they did not put on their baby registry like diapers. I'm also going to leave a link to my favorite baby shower gifts on Amazon. Now without further ado, let me show you how to make an adorable but practical diaper cake baby gift. Okay, so for this project you're going to need cake pans in three different sizes. So I am using a 7.5 inch size, a 9 inch size, and a 10 inch size. You're also going to need diapers, of course, so I'm using Pampers and I bought the size one, the really large box, so the mega box of 186. You're going to need ribbon um, in a variety of widths and colors and decide on a theme before you buy your supplies because that's gonna really help you to choose which items and which colors that you're going to want. So my theme, I'm kind of using um, mint colors and I'm going to make sort of a rustic woodland diaper cake. You're going to need some scissors, you're going to need some, uh, a whole bunch of large elastic bands that are nice and stretchy. You're going to need some sort of cute cake topper. So I'm using these adorable little moccasins here that I found. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you want to sew your own baby booties. I have a tutorial for that as well. I think these really went along with my woodland theme nicely. You're also going to need some sort of twine or string. I'm also using some bamboo skewers. You're also going to need some safety pins. And finally, you're going to need just um, a variety of scrapbook paper. So I'm using that rustic and mint theme here, and I just have three different sheets of scrapbook paper. And finally, you're going to need a recycled wrapping paper tube, just like this. So you can start with your largest cake pan. So this is my 10 inch cake pan. And then you're going to take a big stack of diapers and you're going to start putting them into the cake pan. Now there's a couple of different methods to make diaper cakes. You can roll the diapers individually or you can kind of feather them out like I'm doing. I like the second one because I think mom, new moms are so busy and so tired. The last thing they want to do is unroll individually rolled diapers. So I'm just going to show you how I just fan them out in here. So I start with one diaper along the side like this and I'm actually going to flip these around so you just see this yellow stripe here with the white. And it's going to kind of create a ruffle effect as well when I do it this way. And then put another diaper just like this, about leaving about a two inch overlap like that. So we're putting each diaper two inches away, creating this nice ruffle. We're just kind of fanning them along. And I'm just placing them for starters around the outer edge of my cake pan. I'm going to continue doing that all the way around my cake pan. And don't worry if you have perfectly spaced diapers, just make sure that they're pushed right down to the base of that cake pan and that they're just fanned all the way around the perimeter, just like this. As you near the end here, you're going to want to tuck in the last diaper so it meets the first and kind of has that consistent two inch-ish overlap. So everything is nice and even. I'm making sure all the diapers are pushed down to the bottom of my cake pan. So after you have that outer perimeter finished, just kind of push it out so that your diapers are nice and packed. You want to give this new mama all the diapers possible and then make a second layer inside. So it doesn't matter which way you put the diapers. They can be any way. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see them. And again, just kind of fan them along the circle just like this. Just pushing them to the bottom of the pan and pushing them to the inside. So just squish as many as you can in here. 
Now, once you reach a point where you have a little bit of a hole in the middle, you're going to take your recycled wrapping paper roll and just cut off a length that's going to be about three times the height of this stack. So about here. And you're gonna pop that into the center of your first layer here and just kind of wrap your diapers around that using that as a guideline of where to stop. So once you've fully covered the inside of your cake pan and you're nice and snug against this wrapping paper bowl, that's when you stop adding diapers. So I'm almost there. I'm pretty jam packed here with diapers. Once we have our diapers all inserted here, we are going to take one of our really large elastic bands here and we're going to gently pull it and wrap it all the way around our diapers, our layer here. And this is what's gonna hold our diapers all together. So there we go. I removed it from the cake pan and there's a beautifully ruffled looking layer. My layer number one. Okay, so you're just gonna do the same thing for the second and the third layers. You're going to use the middle sized pan and the small pan to create your layers. So I'm gonna do that now. So I just finished the second layer of my diaper, diaper cake and I'm just gonna borrow the wrapping paper roll from my first layer and pop it into my second layer just to make sure that I have this correct. There's gonna be enough of a hole in the middle here. And there it is. So same thing, elastic band around, pop it off and make your third layer the same way, just kind of borrowing this wrapping paper roll. Okay guys, so I just finished my third and smallest layer. I'm going to, again, take my elastic band, wrap it around, and pop it out of my cake pan. Okay, so now I have my largest layer here. I'm going to pop that wrapping paper roll right inside like that and then I'm going to use that to anchor my other layers so I'm putting the middle layer over top of that and then the final layer over top of that if you have an extra bit of this wrapping paper tube on top you can just give it a trim like that and now comes the fun part the decorating so I'm just deciding what I'm gonna do with mine. I think I'm gonna take this burlap ribbon and I'm gonna put that around all of the layers first because I love the rustic look of that ribbon. So let's do that first. So I'm just wrapping it around and I'm just gonna trim off a piece that slightly overlaps. And then you're just going to take a safety pin and you're gonna just safety pin that together. And you can actually pin right through to the diapers so that it all sticks together. We're gonna use that for the second layer. Again, I'm just cutting a piece that is slightly longer than the circumference of my layer. I'm going to safety pin that to the center of my layer just like this. So here's the safety pins here and here. And then I'm gonna use a third one. Let's just use this nice solid sparkly mint ribbon. So we're not only making the cake cute, but we're also covering up that elastic band. Okay, and if you're using wire ribbon like these top two, you can kind of fold the ribbon over like this to kind of make it look a little bit more finished. And the burlap one, we're just gonna leave raw like that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put another ribbon over top of the burlap ribbon to add some dimension and some more color down there. Okay, so once you have your main ribbon on, you can keep adding more if you want. I'm going to because I love layers. I'm going to add this skinny ribbon and I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna make little bows in the front. So now that I've wrapped all of my layers with different sorts of ribbon, different colors, textures, and I'm layering them, I'm gonna do a really cute topper. So what I wanna do for a topper is first I wanna make like a little bunting banner. So I have these scrapbook papers and I'm gonna cut little triangular pennant shapes out of these. Now they don't have to be perfect. You could cut one and then use that as a pattern for the other ones. So there's my cute little triangle there. 
So I'm gonna use that as a pattern. I'm gonna cut two mint ones, two barnwood, and two deer. We have our six pennant banners, just out of scrapbook paper, and now you're gonna plug in your glue gun and get that all warmed up. So I have my six pennants I cut out of scrapbook paper. I'm going to grab just some baker's twine, and I want the top of it to be a little bit shorter than the top of my diaper cake. I'm gonna cut off a length of it, and then I'm just gonna simply glue gun my pennants onto the twine. I have this cute little pennant banner here. And then we're going to take uh, two of these barbecue skewers, and they're just uh, the bamboo ones. And then we're just gonna simply glue our little pennant banner onto the skewers. So there's our cute little pennant banner that we're going to put in our diaper cake. and we're just going to take our pennant banner and we're just going to insert it in between some of the diapers here. And it's just gonna poke right in between. You don't wanna wreck the diapers, so just be really careful when you do that. Open up the diaper layers and just pop that banner inside. And it's just gonna sit nicely just like that. So we're really close to finished here. The final thing we're going to do is we're just gonna cover the top of the cake with our cute little moccasins that I found. So I'm just gonna set them in the middle and now to secure them, you can just use safety pins. So I'm just using these little gold safety pins and just securing the bottom of the moccasins to a couple of these diapers here. All right, and that is my adorable little woodland rustic themed diaper cake that I think would be a great gift for any baby. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video today. I hope you liked it and I hope it gave you an idea of how you could make a diaper cake baby gift for the next baby shower that you attend. Special thanks to Pampers for sponsoring this video today. Again, make sure to check out the links in the description box below for more about this DIY and my special Amazon baby shower list. Please let me know in the comments below what your favorite gifts to give for baby showers are. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.